Hello, Rune Knights. Welcome back to another episode of Brigandine Grand Edition. I am, as always, your host, Trellin. And we're just going to hop right into it today. We've got four attacks to do. Uh, three of them should be fairly easy, unfortunately. But we still got some progress we're going to make, so that'll be nice. Uh, let's Zerafin, Vane, and Gwynglane. All right. Not that it really matters, I fully expect them just to retreat on turn two. Got no regrets, can't afford to lose. Well, this time you're going to. Last time I wasn't able to get you. But this time, you're going down. Um, yeah, we can't really cast anything there. Zerafin, are you gonna you're gonna be able to cast a little bit, but not enough to really matter? Alright, let's halo ya. Halo ya. Squeak gets some XP. And then Zerafin, you could uh, you can fury up Gooinglane, sure, why not? Alright, then we end your turn. And, I don't know, Yvain will kind of move you forward a little bit. Pretend we're making moves, right? Alright, and now Kai retreats, yep. Who could have possibly seen it coming? Seraphim get a little bit more XP. Um, I don't know. Halo Volik. The dog. Getting some more XP for him. But not really. Uh, Halo Yvain. Shing. Maybe get a little bit of XP from punching an angel? Damn. Angel doesn't want to get punched. Victory! Got two levels. It's something. Alright. Fight one. Done. Oh, here's our actual fight. Who knows? Maybe one of the other ones will also turn into an actual fight somehow. Maybe old, but I got some tricks left. Bag to Magus. So, um, this is the only one, like, most of my, my stupid nicknames from back in the day were just, like, stupid and immature, like Carnaboner, for example. Um, like, it's kind of embarrassing to talk about them now, but, like, it's just whatever. Um, I had a nickname for this guy that I'm actually, like, ashamed of. Like, it was actually just me being an asshole. Um, so I'm not even going to share it, but uh, I don't know why I'm telling you that I had one if I'm not going to share it, but yeah. Um, 13, 14 year old me was a little shit sometimes, so that's that. Gwahaha! Let's crunch him, Gallo! I do like, by the way, this guy, Bagdamagus, is a great example of, of how good the portrait artwork is in this game, where like you can just tell everything that this character is just by looking at his portrait right there right like the the kind of dumb meathead uh that is just aggressive um but like not necessarily like you know evil aggressive although he can be an asshole sometimes just like the dumb meathead um embodied in that picture there you got it charge He's a, just a randomly a clown. Gallop coming in. And as usual, we're ready to slobber on the side. And Felix over here, getting all those non-Holy Griff levels. Sorry, Felix. I just don't have the uh, the rune power. 
to level you properly. Actually, you're probably going to want to come down here. Do 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 And then you can be the one that pops in over there. There you go. Uh, let's do this one and this one. Yeah, there we go. Do 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 do. All right, one two. You could actually probably do four if we wanted to. Let's just do three for now though. We're still setting up our lines, so we want to make sure that we get those in place before we really start moving. This is going to be fine, right? Yeah. One, two, three. A one, a two. A three. Another old school reference. That's the uh, the old how many licks does it take to get to the center of the Toots Pop uh, owl commercial. All right, so I'll switch up. Um, Storm and that one's not Rook because Rook is on the other team. Storm and Drag in this next move. Do, 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 do. All right. As usual, we're just taking our time slowly. You kidding me? Why? Why you let me do all the work to get to ya? I feel like they didn't run away this easily in the base game. Um, that seems to me to be another change they've made to Grand Edition, where uh, damn, do they run really easy in this? Like they totally could have fought me here. But instead, they were just like, nope, this is scurry. We out. Schmackaroo. And a pop-a-pop. -pop. Firestorm, I guess. But man, what a letdown. Nice miss, good job. Gonna pop pop pop. Nice stun. So I do legitimately think though that it's gonna get um, better in terms of fighting um, after this turn because I think Carleon's main problem right now is that they're too spread out. Dillard's 19 by the way, yay. Um, we are compressing them down. Right, so they're not going to have to defend as many castles. They're going to have a little bit more uh, concentrated forces going on. We're going to have to deal with New Almechia at some point, and they are um, going to be an issue because they still have a, a bunch of good stuff. And uh, Escalio, I don't know what their deal is right now. Like they should be doing better, but you know they'll they'll get as we compress things down, we have to deal with more of their strong units all in the same place. Alright, special dialogue. Blade Master Dinadan, I'd rather not fight you. I respect you. Come with me to Norgard and help me shape for Sina's future. Here's an idea. Why don't you join Kerleon? Ha, huh, an interesting joke. What's your answer? No. For one, I don't like your arrogant attitude. I like the cut of your jib, Jinnadan. That's exactly uh, my edgelord comments. Furthermore, I doubt you really need me. You just want to be stronger than anyone else, so you try to get the strongest people under your thumb. I can't ally with someone like that. I see, but I sense there's more to the story. Your distrust of me is not the only reason. 
Is the wise king so appealing? Heh, <laughs> you're pretty calm. I was trying to get you irritated. Okay, I'll tell you the real reason I'm so attached to Kai. As far as ability, you and Kai are pretty much equal. The difference is in how you think. If you had two starving children and only one piece of bread, you could choose without hesitation. Decide who lives, who dies. That's the difference. He suffers over decisions like that. He's no fool. He knows the best decision, but still worries about it right till the end. When you see how much he cares about, uh, about decisions like that, there's no way you could betray him. Hmm. I would enjoy talking to the wise king away from the battlefield. But it seems we must fulfill our duty first. Prepare yourself, Blade Master. Alright. Um, I'm going to work under the assumption that they're going to retreat as well. And just cast some spells. Right, getting furious. Same jokes I made over and over again. Much like the Fast and Furious movies, they just keep repeating. See, that's a new joke. Um, harden up. Let's throw a react down so you can move again. If we can't get XP from fighting, we'll cheese out some XP from casting spells. Scrounge what we can get, where we can get it, and how. Do 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 do. All right. Now Din Dan goes and retreats. Yes, sir. Of course he does. We're not allowed to have an actual battle. We're being denied our battle experience. Everybody's being rather rude to us. We're just walking around looking for a fight and they keep on saying no. It's like, hey, wanna fight? Nope. Wanna fight? Nope. Wanna fight? Nope. Wow, you can only do one halo? Stomper, you got low MP, my friend. I guess my Pegasi getting some XP is also not the worst thing ever. Um, we got another Harden. Bringian's whole team is hard. Huh, still funny. Alright, time for our last attack request, which will uh, once again be denied. Ooh, Kirkman hit level 20! We knew that was going to happen, but it's still nice that it did. Okay, here they're going to have to withdraw if they want to retreat. So, I don't know, maybe that means they'll stick around? I doubt it, but... Oh yeah, especially not with this. Yeah, I know we want to kick him in the head, Palamedes. Believe me, I, I want to do that just as much as you do. But they're just not going to give us the opportunity. They refuse. We keep on sending attack requests and they keep on denying them. We're being cyber bullied right now. We gotta call the authorities. Have these terrible people held accountable for their ruthless cyberbullying of me and not allowing me to punch them and kick them in the head. I'm moving at them just in case. 
in the vain hope that they're not just going to retreat. And they just retreat. Okay. Well, so much for that vain hope, huh? Furious. Yes, we are. Um, Elaine. Throw a halo down. Halo casting range is pretty far. It's nice. Um, I don't know. Halo the fairy. Nice level. Woohoo. Fairy reactor. This is Moon Toes, right? No, this is Fawn. Moon Toes is elsewhere. Alright, then we do another Halo just for the XP. And it's time to end our very unfortunate turn of uh, denial of attack requests. Stinky levels up, Fingir. Okay, we gotta make our, our decision now at this point. New Almechia invades over there. Okay. Reinforcing the idea they might be a problem. Charlene Quest. At the entrance to a long forgotten ruin, curious, she goes inside. Walking through many weathered, collapsing passages, Charlene comes to a gravestone surrounded by a beautiful flower garden. The inscription is too worn to read, but a mithril rod is placed on the grave. I wouldn't mind that. It must have belonged to the person buried here. Charlene carefully removes the mithril rod. Got it! Nice! Bowser had in respect, praying that her need for the mithril rod be understood. Charlene leaves the ruins and heads home. Sometimes you can get a, uh, like, curse from that, basically, and you don't get the item. While walking in the wilderness, Fiel comes to the table with a bottle on it. A sign says, free drink. Being thirsty, Fiel opens the bottle and eagerly drinks. Fiel notices an unearthly odor coming from the empty bottle. Suddenly, urk, blup, urk. Fiel tries to walk, but falls over. It was poisoned! That's what you get for just drinking random bottles. The world goes black as Fiel curses his stupidity. I mean, it was kind of dumb. Fiel wakes up in a room. Luckily, a farmer has found his body and carried it to a doctor. Fiel tries to stand up. Blurp, erg. Fiel will need to rest for a while. Ivan quests. Ivan passes a flower girl on the street. Um, Alright, so we can get a uh, stat boost. We've seen this one before, so... Actually... Did we see this one before? I've lost track. Well, he gets, uh, you pick a flower, and depending on the flower, you get a uh, different stat boost. Ivan gets one int. Charlene returns, Fiel returns, Ivan returns. Okay. Well, check this out at least. Look at that domain. Oh, yeah. Eventually, we'll get it down to around there. Be good. But, um,. Yeah, we have a very nice position now, at least. Kirkmind is an expert. Runecaster is what it's called instead of wizard. Um, I don't really think I want to commit to the bishop. It will give me divine ray, which is nice. It'll give me area heal. But I've already got two healers, and he's got heal as like a backup spell. I mean, I know that it would be better for his spell selection, but his stats are going to be better, much better, as a runecaster. And I just, I want to get Geno Bolt. Here we go. Look, look, look. Geno Frost, Geno Bolt. Yes, and then React as well, and Bolt. Um, so, like, really, really good spell selection with this. I think we will not miss um, Divine Ray and Area Heal. Um, I think we're, we're pretty good with what we do have in Exoblast and Geno Bolt and Geno Frost. All those things. And also 400 MP. Like, yeah, we're, we're happy with what we have. None of the creatures can level up. 
Yeah. All right. So let's quest out Charlene and Ivan. Fiel can't go because he is uh, poisoned because he decided to drink random liquids he found on the side of the road. We get to summon here. All right. Let's go to our random number generator. We got one through four. We're just doing them in order. Here we go. Four. Four is a dragon. Unfortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> um, I can't really pull it from here. And again, like at this point, I think I'm only going to summon things that I really feel like I need. And I just don't need a dragon. It's too late in the game for a level one dragon to be a, um, a real boon to me. So check out Lydney here. These are the ones that are my backup. Yeah. So they are going to return to that questing life, which is great. I get three more questers. They're going to sequester themselves in the land of questing. Hmm. This is actually a tough choice. I do already have four backliners here. Here's the thing. Stinky, I would only use sometimes. But Poke, I will pretty much never use. Frontliners, I got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So seven is enough to have three backliners with two flank protection. If I had eight, I could fit the fourth backliner. So I could have my high centaur shooting further. But high centaurs are maneuverable. They're flexible with that stuff. That's 20. That's 25. So if I want a silver dragon, I would actually have to get rid of Stinky. If I want a fire drake, then poke would be sufficient. Palamedes is close to a level up. And how much would it be to get you to there? 15. You'd have 135 defense. 211 attack. Your HP would still be pretty damn low. And that agility is so low that it's hard to, uh. It's a poison 50% compared to poison 33%. I think we're going to drop poke, because again, we could use stinky sometimes, whereas we could pretty much never use poke. And I feel bad for leaving poke behind, because it did that, you know, 2 HP survival in the beginning. But the big thing is that I didn't want it to get killed, right? I wanted to keep it alive for the rest of the playthrough. It has now become a death needle. I can come back and pick it up at any time, right? It's just in the PC. Um, yeah. I think this is the most responsible strategic choice we could make. Let's throw these guys here. And over at Cadbury, I don't think we have any relevant class-ups, because Xerophon needs more levels. 
Evane's close, but not quite. All right, so let's then move you folks to Solstheim. All right, and now we can uh, finally be in a good position to start pushing out a little bit better. Push it. Push it good. All right, so we're just focusing on Escalio for right now. Carleon talking about concentrating their forces. They just have one castle they're going to have to defend now, so they could put all their stuff there. Um, oh, and they have their upgraded merman over here, their triton. And I think merman get one more at level 20. Uh, and so I'm going to try to avoid killing that triton. Maybe we can see it. Damn, they got some good stuff here. So Scalio is probably going to be sitting in a pretty good spot now as well. Uh, but they are a little bit spread out. They got one, two, three, four castles they have to defend. And they're cut in half right there. All right, well, let's execute and see what we end up with. Uh, we can't attack over on these ones because we moved. Um, they're looking okay. What's their strength looking like here? Yeah, I mean, they didn't have anybody there because they had no reason to have anybody there. Um, man, that's that's a strong leader position, right? Garant, Halley, and uh, Meliagant. Quartz is almost Mithril Golem. Ultrut has got 3 and 10, alright. How about Carnaboner over here? Ooh, that's a scary one! I don't really want to attack into that, because again, I think that Bahamut will revive. Um, alright, so I think we should do the Ultrut attack right here. And that's the only one we're going to be able to do this turn. There we go. Um, for now, though, I think it is time to save and wrap up the episode. Again, apologies for them uh, not fighting. <laughs> I can't control it. I'm doing my best. Uh, but hopefully next episode we will get some good fighting in and uh, we'll get some action going. So as always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!